while they say in MMA one of the hardest things to do is lose your title and get it back, I would also say becoming a number one contender, not getting the job done, and getting back to a title fight, that's exactly what this young man was able to do. Yeah, it's almost, it's as difficult, John. It's, it's tough because when you get there and you don't get the job done, you become dejected, like, my goodness, how hard will it be to get another run going? But it's in the truly special ones where they do it. And when they do it, the confidence that they build along the way is second to none. This guy believes that he's going to be a champion tonight because he understands this may be the last chance. And it's not as though he wasn't ready for that first fight for the title, but he just believes he is a totally different animal than he was back then. Here he is, my 2023 Fighter of the Year and the undisputed UFC Flyweight Champion, Alessandre Pantoja. Pro debut at 17 years of age in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Finally breaks through to win the undisputed UFC title at 33 years of age. He is as watchable and as well-rounded as any fighter in the sport. And in advance of his first title defense in our fighter meeting, he said, now the focus is getting my pound for pound due. I know I'm the best flyweight in the world. I'm out to prove that again tonight, but I want to show the masses that I can be the pound for pound king, and he might just be that guy. Well, no air conditioning, no problem. We are ready to go with more live action from Gionesi Arena here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. All right, let's get to the tail of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Katsura Taira. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Alejandro. The Cannibal Pantoja! And there's Herb Dean, who will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, a lot of fans curious to see how this fight and this round will play out. For one, Alessandre Pantoja, he has been on the cusp of a UFC flyweight title shot for his entire UFC career. Injuries have been a part of the narrative, but when this man is healthy and able to compete, He's a real problem, whether knocking out Matt Schnell or submitting Brandon Royval, this man can beat you every which way but sideways and believes he has a favorable matchup with which to showcase his skills tonight. Guillotine jump! Pretty good work with the strike there from bottom position. All right, feet on the hips here. Side control now. Pantoja's back in half goal. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attempt. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Pantoja's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Oh, 
making all these shots count. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Oh, hammer fist here by Pantoja. Submission now or so it appears. He's looking to finish, John. Oh, yeah, it's a fight here. Ooh, he's got it locked in. Working again for that submission. It's always going to be a struggle, but this guy's intent for finishing the fight. No, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Hard to win MMA fights off of your back, but these strikes are useful from the bottom. All right, try to pass here, as Grover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Rubber guard for him now, DC. Some people believe this is nothing more than a stall tactic. What do you think the offensive fighter is trying to do? He needs to regain his posture, right? He needs to shove that foot down around his neck, shove it down, build your base, get that arm free, and then get back to work trying to advance position to your ground and pound. Right. If you play in there, you can find yourself in a lot of danger if you're not careful. Side control now, and certainly, I'm, oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Ooh, it's tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Uh, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Uh, watch the yard, this yard bar going up. Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets you going, he's got so many ways to finish arm bars. It's got to be it. It seems so tight. Surprise me. Ten seconds now to go on the round. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, relax. Recover. Let's get it done. He was a little better on the wrestling that last round. This round, we're gonna go out there and show him who's boss. All right, so there's the final horn marking the end of the fight, and you gotta think he's gonna get the nod just based upon the offensive submission prowess. I mean, he attacked submissions every opportunity he got. So constantly had his opponent under duress, constantly had him under attack. And I believe even if you're on your back, if you're throwing up that many submissions, you should get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. All Go. right, round two. So with that, our next round is underway. It looked like maybe we wouldn't get here. There was a close attempt on a submission in the previous round, but the fighter lives to fight another round. It was very, very close. If it's me and I'm his coach, I'm telling him, get right back to it. This time, he will not be able to survive. Jab lands. Hands up, hands up. It got checked. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. 
slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. That guillotine is tight. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Nice job staying offensive there as he lands a shot from the bottom. All right, rubber guard for him now, DC. We haven't seen you lean on this in the octagon. No, I, I can't get those <laughs> legs up there. Come on, man, look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulders. I like to keep my feet on the ground, and I like to grind. That's what I'm known for. But this guy has that dexterity. He has that ability to throw up the rubber guard, to be able to threaten from a position where his opponent was trying to find safety. There are many, many attacks here. Let's see which one he chooses to go after. Pantoja's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. And blocks the shot there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Under two minutes now to go round two. Body shot there. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. What a setup. He lands a beautiful flying knee. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Let those hands go. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, he's got the side of the octagon. He's got his back. He needs to get his hips and lift and map and turn him so that he can start to make him grab Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Lands the right hand over the top. Well, now you see some hit. He's going to get a Stand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Nice positional control here. Seconds winding down in round two. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. 
All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Very good. Head kick partially blocked. Takedown defense is there. Quick jab. He's just being more aggressive. Because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, All right, looks like he's setting up for a finish here. Beautiful diving strike lands. Now he's going full mount. This is where he wants to be. Pantosia's in half guard. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. He's got to start to get to the get up process. Because everybody talks like you just get up, you don't. It's a process, right? You get to the underhook, you build to the elbow, then you start to gain height to get back to your feet. Beautiful ground strikes landed. There it is, now he's going to mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Pantosia's in half guard now. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. Nice sub attempt. Oh, he's advancing. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Wow, what a great job defensively. Staying aware, staying alert. The moment a little bit of space presented itself, he took it and got himself out of that triangle. Very good defense. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Vulcan Oldsmere here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. All right, so now... Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, looks like he's got the submission locked in. He's in real trouble. Oh, this could be the end of the fight. Looks like the fight is over, guys. Oh, oh, You're winning by submission. Oh, 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 my goodness. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the Octagon. And here we go inside the Octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 39 seconds of the third round. For the winner by submission, and new undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, that's the world All right, so how about this result tonight? This should shut up some of the flyweight naysayers, right? We got a new UFC flyweight champion, and he looked like one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world tonight. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, and he has the charisma 
to make people care about the 125-pound division. Great job by this young man.